like a diamond shape. So these will like pluck out when we're done. So now we're gonna actually make the uh, stuff to put into the garlic bread. So we're gonna use a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese, a uh, little bit of Parmesan, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and take some pepper, black pepper and kind of sprinkle it in there like so. And then this is like a garlic spread. You could use um, a stick of butter and fresh garlic if you wanted to, but this is just a little bit easier for today's purpose. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And as you notice, I got the gloves on, so we're gonna go and smush it up, get it real nice and nice and mixed, like so. We're gonna go ahead and take the bread, bring it back. And we are actually going to open these cracks up and we're gonna kinda shove this in between the cracks. So you wanna get it, get it, get, get it in all those nice, nice and even even as possible, I should say. And it's kind of gonna spread the bread out. I think we call this armadillo, armadillo, armadillo garlic bread because it kind of looks like the shell of armadillo. Armadillo. You're gonna have to correct me in the comment section, but a lot of this is gonna melt in there when we put it in the oven. So again, 425 and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Go like this and just kind of spread it on top. Oh man, I can taste it already. So we do that. Then we take our tin foil right here, put it on the tin foil, and then we just kind of wrap it up like this, like this, like this. And then we're just gonna throw this in the oven. While that's in the oven, we are actually gonna be making the steak for the meal. So this is, an, um, I think it's called a ribeye cap. They take a string and they tie it around the part of the ribeye. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some kosher salt. I, I love kosher salt on my steaks. It gives it a nice crust on the grill. So we're gonna hit it with the kosher salt on one side, kosher salt and the black pepper. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna hit it again with the pepper and the kosher salt. And right while we're doing this, the grill's also preheating right now. We're gonna throw this on the grill um, five minutes on each side at the highest heat it goes. And then we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes. So it's been in the oven for 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and unwrap it like I said. And what this is gonna do now, when we put it back in the oven for 17 minutes, it's gonna actually crisp this all up. So it's done, the bread's done. Let's go ahead and cut this steak open real quick and just show you what it looks like inside. Cause I know everybody wants to see how perfectly cooked this is. Look at that, perfect. That's like a medium rare. And we're gonna dive into that in a second. But the real reason you're here is this, break apart armadillo bread. So it's really hot, piping right, right out of the oven. So you just go ahead and go like that and you we're gonna have to go and use the fork because it's still too hot to just pull apart. Oh, and then we go ahead and just give that a nice little. Worth it, worth it. Oh my God.